We haven't seen them together for quite some time, but we are delighted to the, welcome them back. On to Loose Women, please welcome Union J. <laughs> Very no, old no. watching that. I'm when still you young. Baby. And everything. You are. Yeah, uh, the, the beards have gone through. <laughs> um, it's lovely to see you as always. And you. Um, but I'm interested to know whose idea was it? Obviously, you'd had some time apart. Who <laughs> called who? Who made the phone call? <laughs> I think it was the friend's idea. I think I was just the nagging one that didn't stop yeah. calling. Yeah, it was really um, nice. Through lockdown, Jamie would just like give us all rings and. I think lockdown for us was such a beautiful thing because. Mm. There was no work, we all know, for, especially mm. for our industry, we couldn't work. Mm. So there was none of like that conversation like, oh, are we talking to each other because we want to get back together? It just mm. happened naturally that the relationship again blossomed. Yeah. Like, Had you been talking anyway? Like, yeah, I mean, occasionally, yeah. but not as much as lockdown. It became... It's the thinking I think, time, people. I think. It's mm. sitting on the sofa thinking about what you enjoy in your life. Mm -hmm. And I think we all came to the decision that we enjoyed Uni and Jay so much. Yeah. yeah back in the day that let's give this another go, let's have another crack at it. And it kind of just worked. So why did it all go wrong then in the first God, place? How long you got? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. Jesus. Um, what was it, 2015 that we split up? Yeah. 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 And, and we kind of, we tried to do it as a three, but the dynamic just didn't work. It was never the same without George. Yeah. And um, I mean, it's just and nice having back. It's all your fault, George. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I take responsibility for that. But it doesn't, it doesn't feel like we split up, honestly. No. It doesn't feel like a day's gone by and it's like, no. we've all just like slipped right back into where we were before. Mm. But have you had that? moment that a lot of friends do where everybody's just piled in a bit on you and said this is how I fell and then you've gone back yeah, this definitely. is how I yeah we've had a deeper meaningfuls haven't we yeah, yeah. yeah. So kind of reflected on and everything I, again I say the pandemic it was just not having being able to talk to each other and realizing how much you miss people I think how much we all miss human contact when those conversations were had with each other it was coming off the phone and being like I really miss them yeah. I miss them as people and what we brought to each other and we've said a lot of filming you there's no one understands in the world what we went through other than the four of us. Yeah. Mm. So to heal those wounds or. Except things. Brenda did do X Factor, so she understands. Yeah. 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 I understand a little bit. I th um, yeah. Obviously, yeah. I got to the semi final, so I understand the pressure yeah. of it. But, uh, you know, how is, it, how is it now like you've been reunited? Do you think that you've got rid of all the bickers that might have gone on I, back in the day? And I think we're just men now yeah. and I think we kind of don't worry we don't sweat the small stuff as they say it's like mm. we've laid out the things that we had issues with yeah. you know that we all had different dynamics and a few of us didn't get on etc etc but now we're just we're men we're yeah. grown up and we're ready to kind of give this another go and just it's all about having fun this have time fun as well with it. there's a lot oh, of like enjoy stress and pressure on us to do well and to like succeed in that space. So Life's too short. Nice to, yeah. Yeah. And as yeah. Louis put you together, are you still in touch with him? I actually James. spoke to him. I spoke yeah, to him. Yeah. Yeah. I just okay. messaged yeah. him. I said, we're getting back together. And um, yeah, he was really supportive. He always has been of us. Mm. I mean, a lot of people you'll know from the show, people give Louis a hard time for being this blithering idiot that says the wrong he thing. He's the most switched on yeah. businessman yeah. in the world. And he watches this show all the time. Oh, well, Hello, Louis. Louis. Hello, Louis. Hello, Louis. Hello, Louis. Hello, Louis. Hello, Louis. We do. We're always taking his advice on. But yeah. yeah. Well, look, being put together as a, a boy band, mm. that is pressure alone. Mm -hmm. Much less in an environment where it's a competition. Yeah. And then you're all individuals. Now you're back together as beautiful yeah. grown men. Like, how are you making sure that your individuality is really coming through as a group? I think that just happens naturally. I think the thing with our year of X Factor was just when social media was kind of booming. So we had Instagram and Twitter and all mm. the trends and following that we had to do. It gave a lot of like, I don't know, it just there was a lot of pressure and we we're always panicking and it, it created competition within the show, but it also created competition yeah. within us. Well, yeah. And I think the, the numbers game is really unhealthy. So this time we're just going into it. We're not looking at any of that no. stuff. Well, we're no, not ashamed. You say numbers it. games, you mean you're, you're how much you follow? How many got, followers you got, yeah. how many likes Record you get you're in, selling, all of what mm. time you have to post. Remember, we were often, young. Yeah. Yeah. So young. Really he was young. 18. Yeah. Like, but have all your fans come? Back yeah. with you. Oh, they're, all, they're all our yeah. APs as well, just yeah. like us. So, yeah, I mean, I need glasses now. That was amazing. <laughs> well, if you were going to ask, like, what's changed since, you all are blurry. Bro. I, swear, I swear last time you were HD. Uh, listen, Josh, honestly, John, that's a good thing, believe me. Honestly, happy to be blurry. I'm literally nicer. like this. Like, <laughs> you all look great, though. There's going to be plenty of young people watching you and just people that are interested in music. You know, any advice from each of you in regards to becoming in a group or as an individual artist? Be yourself. Be, yourself. be, be yeah. authentic. Yeah. And it goes back to what you were saying earlier, you know, self-care, self-preservation, mm. 
Mm. And just making sure that you're putting yourself first. Do you and they about, about being... Oh, sorry, yeah, go on. Yeah, sorry, Jane. I was saying, saying about being yourself, mm. George. That was one thing that you felt you couldn't be, you know, yeah. with your, mm. your sexuality. You felt that you, yeah. you needed to tell the world yeah. because you were part of this band, which caused a lot of problems for you. It did. Ultimately, kind of led to the split. But I know, Jamie, that you were very supportive. Mm. It's hard George. for me to watch from... For, being so openly gay and then finding out maybe a year into the band where you mm. sort of came out to me, for the, the joyous experience I've had of being a gay man from my family to my life before, my partner, my friends, and then in the media to some extent and the support I got from X Factor, to watch someone not being able to revel in that time of your life yeah. when yeah. you come out is the yeah, best time of your life. Yeah. So it was difficult to watch it, but I was so glad that when he did come out, we were still, even though we had split as a band, mm -hmm. we were still very much in contact as that. And, um, I, I remember when I saw so JJ, he so literally so was like, yeah. Mwah. Yeah. 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 Massive kiss on I, didn't, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't know no, for didn't so, know. I didn't know for so long. Yeah. And that was, that's what's so crazy. We were living in each other's pockets. Yeah. And the fact that George obviously felt like he may have couldn't have been in true self in front wow. of me. Yeah. yeah. Like that made me think, God, am I a bad person? Mm. But actually, no, it's just the industry. It's but will that yeah. change yeah. now, JJ? Because you, you know, you're talking now about being more open. You were all young then and didn't actually yeah. know each other that well to start mm. with. So no. will that change now that if any of you've got a problem, that you can openly talk about whatever it is? That's the great thing with us four, is that you know, we tell each other, well, especially now we're older, we tell each other everything. And yeah. you know, we are, we're like four brothers. I know it sounds, you know, <laughs> corny, but we are four <laughs> brothers and we kind of open up and we you know try to tell each other as, as much as we can. It's, mm. it's all about that, and that's the reason it's worked. And that's the reason, although we had that little bit of a split, mm. we've come back and, and we're still just as strong as we were, Looking you know, amazing. ten years ago. And as your big sister, George, I mean, I know my phone's going to be popping off. Are you single, babe? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, oh. She had a friend lined up for you and everything. Um, listen, tenth anniversary. Yeah. yeah. We, oh, ten, ten years. Can you believe it's ten years? Twenty no. fifth. Um, sorry, twenty eighth of May at the London Palladium. The tickets go on sale this yeah. Friday. Yes. Friday. Yes. We, 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 you know, we're so, so excited. And obviously, the London Palladium is such an iconic yeah. venue. So to be able to, you know, do our 10th anniversary there is just going to be amazing. And the four of us being on that stage again together is and just going I'm to be I'm sure amazing. you do all the hits that people love. But have you yeah. got new music coming? Ooh. It's in the pipeline. We're, we're, we're not putting too much pressure on yeah. this. We're going into it with an open mind, see what happens. If things go really well, then, of course, new music will happen. But at the moment... Let's just we've take every step of time. We've got space in the set list for new music. Yeah, okay. let's just say yeah. that. Listen, I hate to cut you off, but I've got one of those horrible great. breaks I have to hit at a certain time. Oh, so yeah. you just say, Uni and Jay, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.